The Securities and Exchange Commission last year revoked the licenses of 53 fund management companies for several regulatory breaches. The companies were said to have more than 8 billion CDs in assets under management. The collapse of the companies came at a time a number of the firms were unable to meet investors' demands for the funds. An analysis of the country's financial sector showed that some of the collapsed fund management companies had their funds locked up in savings and loans companies and financial institutions that were shut down by the central bank. With government's intent of ensuring all depositors of collapsed savings and loans companies, finance houses and MFIs fully paid their deposits, Kisei Antonio argues that increasing the cash component to the fund managers would do the industry a lot of good. He adds that there has to be increased financial literacy for the public as well. First and foremost, um, I would want to plead with government to treat SEC regulated institutions like the banks. Okay, um, We see that with the banks, you had depositors being paid in full. Uh, with fund managers, you see that there's a cap and investors are being given paper. Uh, in any return, in uh, any amount in excess of the 170,000 cap, which has been established. I mean, um, that if government is to do that, that will go a long way in um, bringing confidence back into the sector. Uh, I guess on, um, when it comes to the industry itself, it's important that, you know, there's some financial literacy. We educate our customers uh, about the fact that, look, every investment has a potential upside, but there are also potential downsides. We all know that investments, there's a risk reward curve. The higher you know, the risk you take, the higher the potential return. But you should also know that there's also a higher potential downside. Mr. Antonio called on collapsed fund management companies that have received some form of payment from the receiver to take steps to pay out investors' locked up funds. Those fund managers who had licenses revoked, who are managing mutual funds or unit trusts, um, they were the one, these products were supposed to be migrated to other fund managers. I mean, if you take mutual funds, for instance, even though they are promoted by a fund management company, they are a company on its own with its own board of directors. So their activities are to um, a certain degree divorced from the activities of the promoter. So um, I guess with those, I mean, the new fund managers who are appointed for such schemes will have to do the needful um, when uh, they are paid monies from these institutions uh, who've gone down.